it feels like a, quite a challenge to make real decisions in the real world to choose this place for the, like, for the new papaya tree and not this one and at the same time I absolutely love it yeah, to learn more in the practical execution of that. Ah, creative morning. The plan is getting developed. We have three months to build the basic infrastructure for custodia, for custodians who are coming at the 1st of December. And I'm doing a deep dive. What is necessary for that? What do we need? We need pathways, we need water, we need electricity, we need simple dwellings, we need kitchen, we need composting toilets, we need internet, we need so many things. And I definitely cannot do this just by myself. We need a lot of skills, we need a lot of men and women power. And that's why it's important to have a strong team. And the team is forming, slowly. And I see myself as the, as the architect of all that, like coordinating and yeah, that's the, the task of a, of a human design projector. I'm slowly like setting up a playing field where I can put in my full potential. Hmm. Love it, love it. A lot of execution power is for me. I was interested to learn more about um, aquaculture and growing planting. Mm -hmm. I prepared something. Da -da -da -da. Ah, permaculture. This is the Bible. We will work intensively with it over the next three months. It's it's the most comprehensive permaculture work that that is out there by Bill Mollis, who really like coined the term permaculture. And it's really hands-on, and at the same time, it's. It's a lot. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> Can you summarize what fascinates you about permaculture? Um, yeah, for me, it's the, it's, it, it's very strongly related to many qualities um, that I see in custodianship. Like if you if you take the the term, it's like permanent culture. It's something that's lasting. It's something that values the, the long run and not just like monoculture. No. Yeah, it's the inter it's the interconnectedness of all things. The interconnectedness of the sun and the and the rain and the trees and the soil and the and the animals and the way well, there are no human beings. There need to be human beings too. Um, like it's the interconnectedness of everything and creating a setting that works for all for all components of the system. It feels like a, quite a challenge to make real decisions in the real world to choose this place for the like, for the new papaya tree and not this one and at the same time I absolutely love it yeah to learn more in the practical execution of that great yeah we are living in the probably most potent ecosystem that you can choose for a permaculture project like many things people are struggling with we are not struggling with we have a lot of water we have perfect soil like uh, the, the, everything is growing in, in abundance. We have no winter, we have no, no three, four, five, six months where nothing is growing. And that's, uh, I think, a very easy way to start learning because here you just need to like, <laughs> throw something out there and you will have a, have, a, have a papaya tree like six months later. I remember your words. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is what I... Um, <laughs> Nee, ich komm, ich komm einfach, ich geh rum, dann brauchst du. No, 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 it's good. 
I think the air, air circulation expert would really love this tent because you can open it on all four sides. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the place where we stayed um, last week, they have tents too, and they are they are able to all be opened on, on two sides. So there was really it, it was a tremendous difference when you opened only one side and the sun was 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 shining. It was so hot that uh, I was afraid when I put Leo for his nap that he will wake up because it was so hot. And when I when I opened the other side, the wind can flow through and it's not hot, not hot at all. It's crazy. It's a huge huge difference. And I imagine if you open like everything, it's wow, it's beautiful. And of course, if it's raining, you can close it. I think this is uh, this is my favorite tent so far, and it looks super cool. water access, we need to have electricity, we need to have internet, we need to have tents, including a platform underneath because since it's raining so much we cannot put just the tents on the grass. Yeah, that's what that I will not work. We need to have a wooden platform where we can put the tent. Currently we have only ideas and in practice we will, we will learn what is the best use of the land, where to put things. So I don't want to put like, I don't want to put in the first phase something that is really Bam, it's there and it's fixed. I don't want I want to have as much flexibility as possible so that when we realize oh the tent there is not really is not really was not a really good decision, we can just take down the tent and take the wooden platform and put it over there. So I think this is very, very, very important. So to have as little permanent structures as possible. But sometime in 2025 we will change the tents with uh, structures like bamboo or wooden cabins. Um, because they are just more sustainable, they are more endurable, you can, they can live for 10 years, 15 years um, and the tents maybe, I don't know, for a year. But the nice thing about the tents is that we can, we can store them and when we, when we expand on the area, because we are acquiring more land and want to have something there fast, we can just put in the tents and people can move in immediately and it's really, it's really flexible, it's really dynamic. Mm -hmm. like that's what I like about the tents. Mm. Wow. Du kannst auch mal probieren, Amo. Nee, nee, lass mal. Das sieht ja aus wie Wurst, sag mal. Ja? Gebratene Wurst. Mit Banane. Ja, Banane erkennt man, aber die Teile. Sometime in the upcoming weeks, it's time to start the Custodia Instagram account. And to, um, to, like in the videos, we are documenting like everything and like have a lot, a lot of space, but on the Instagram account, I'd like to share the progress of of building and of more less like content and learning things and more like just seeing what is what is emerging on the land and that's my favorite inspiration do you know this account it's a place in austria hotel. you know this no mm -mm. no first of good i love this place it's like and i'm thinking just to mm -hmm. In the beginning, we have, there's nothing on the land, so we have the opportunity to just show the nature and then there's the first tent and there's a kitchen and whatever and just document this in a very um, cinematic kind of way with short videos, um, with a drone, with a camera, like no content, no voiceover, no nothing, but just like today we want to show you this and then the next day we want to show you this and oh look, there's a first papaya and then like a video just of the papaya. And, so on from the beginning documenting this process so that when when somebody finds it in six months they can scroll down and then like Im imagine having this account and now you see like wow what they built super super great and you scroll down and you just see a, a land and a little bit of like green and some trees and so on and you really see how they how they built that this is i think the magic of uh, of, of instagram that you cannot you can capture that on YouTube, but you need to watch 20 or 15 minutes every day and you will not be able to just see the whole process. <laughs> this, will, this will be very, very subtle. <laughs> Super random, but funny, right? Like, yeah. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Maybe we need a different code word. Intense meetings, friends. Master planning. Custodia. 
and everything that wants to be created starting next week when we're back at the land onboarding the whole crew checking in who takes responsibility about what hmm. the energy's on now i'm gonna hop on a call with our custodians from poland and see what they're doing creation power hmm spent the whole day here at alchemy now i'm gonna pick up leo very grateful for robin and anastasia joining the team anastasia supporting the filming and the editing you're seeing a lot of that already um the editing i'm still doing by myself we slowly slowly like onboarding um the whole workflow and robin is supporting with community building with research um with communication yeah. Deeply necessary for the past one and a half years, one year, one, one and a half years, I've been mostly working just by myself with a little bit of help of the occasional person here and there. Um, and this after a time like before where I worked with 10, 20, 30 employees at the same time. So I'm really used to having a lot of men and women power at my disposal to create and to like bring beautiful things into reality so it feels very good to stock up in execution power yeah and when i look into the into the next three months then i realize this is very necessary we have a lot to do so let's go yeah ja, Papa. Total ja. Ich muss jetzt mal rausgehen und den Sonnen ja, begreifen. Ja, Sir. Ja, Sir. Guck doch mal. Dann geht's zur Terrasse oben. Das Look. ist viel krasser. Look at that. Wow. wow. Evening Pool Party. Ja, der dann, Ma ich, äh, der Main dann Act geht. Geh mit in die Pool Party. <lacht>